salute, salute, salute All my generals, on my lines, on my real men, on my kings, on my queens, on my princesses, on my lionesses, man Y'all already know what it is, it's your boy Truest Lines And man, we not promoting gang violence, gang activity in any shape, way, form, or fashion Let's get into it, man Lil Zip, Lil Zip, Lil Zip What's poppin' Lil Zip? I've been seeing you doing your little thing on the tool, man, I respect it, man, that's what's up, my man You did stupid numbers, my man, you another nigga that, I mean, I'm happy to see that dudes is coming home after doing all these years and they having an the opportunity to really shine and, and regardless of the fact that they lost all these years, I mean, dudes is they home, I mean, in their 40s and 30s and, and they have an opportunity to still, I mean, have happiness and years of success, you know what I'm saying? So salute to that. But we're gonna, I'm going to get on the YouTube shit, right? So respectfully, I'm just going, you know, I'm going to fact check. I want to fact check certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I jumped on your, your live yesterday, um, Lil Zip, and I said something into the effect about what happened when Blue Boy pressed you or why did Blue Boy press you. And you got a little offensive and all that and um started calling niggas dweebs and all this other little shit. I'm like, all right, so I'm a dweeb. <laughs> so then you played a little recording of Blue Boy. I'm like, all right. I'm like, nigga, you know, I was in, I text you. I'm like, I, I, I messaged in the comments. I'm like, you know, you was in the building with me, right? Like I was there, like literally there. And he's like, also, if you was there, you knew, you knew what it was. You knew you, you, that I saw you a stick. All right. So now you was shaking and moving out there and all that. I, 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 I mean, and, and yeah, I'm not. Look, this is not. I guess you could say it's not a shot, but it's some. <laughs> uh, how about we just call it a reality check? I mean, because I'm a respectful nigga. Ain't out of respect to Big Zip. I'm not going to, you know, it ain't nothing aggressive to even speak on, but I'm not going to try to poo-poo on the on the young bro. Well, I can't even say young. Damn near my age, so he ain't no young boy, but I got him only by, I think, by like two years or some shit like that. So, let's get into it, right? When Little Zip came to Clinton, I already knew he was coming because his big brother was an A block with me, man. Salute to Big Zip. So Big Zip and me was we was we was we was alright, we was cool, you know what I'm saying? He was a chill nigga, mad quiet, humble nigga. He was doing numbers, you know what I'm saying? And um Big Zip knew my little my son, my my crime Cito from Queens. Salute to Cito. You know what I'm saying? He coming home soon too. Um salute to Cito. So um, I guess that means probably pretty sure Little Zip probably know who I'm talking about too Because I see though even touched Clinton too When I was there also So now listen um, Little Zip had beef Big Zip was coming at me Y'all know I'm all day Y'all know what the fuck it is right So Big Zip's coming to me like yo My little brother about to touch And Big Zip was trying to get the strap <laughs> Because his brother had smoke with some blood niggas. He was telling me something about basically like his brother got beef with the blood. Because he ain't jacking that whip no more. Whatever the case may be. I I know it has something. I don't know all that. I know for a fact though, right? You used to be homie, right nigga? Alright, so. When he came to Clinton. I don't know if they had any like paper red like hits out on him. Like for the homies, I mean. um, But I know that he wasn't jacking blood no more. So, and you know, that's a sign that's that's kind of like, that's that's a, that's a risk right there when you do shit like that, you know what I mean? And especially if you're around the right ones. You talking about you ain't banging no more. And, you know, it's, a little, it's a, a little sketchy, you know what I'm saying? So, we strap Big Zip up. Me, I say we, me, my bro, ill will, really will. Yeah, in Clinton, my nigga. Me and your brother used to get high together. Me and Big Zip used to burn it down and hit the bag, nigga. Yeah, I bet you ain't know that. I probably shouldn't have said that. I fucked up just now. I'm going to have to delete this whole shit now. Fuck. Matter of fact, now, fuck it. I ain't going to delete this shit. It's all right. You know what I mean? Your, your big bro used to hit the bag every now and then. Nigga. That, that's the fact. Snapple fact. Salute to him, though. I mean, we used to get high together. I mean, plot and scheme on niggas together. When you came to the jail, the first time that you hit that yard, correct me if I'm wrong. If it wasn't the first day you hit the yard, it was probably the next day. The one you hit that yard, your your big brother Zip 
hit you with some shit, right? Hit you with some bud and all that. That came, where you think that came from? It wasn't coming from him. Respectfully, Big Zip wasn't going down like that. I was married. I had trailer visits. I was going down every month. And my bro, Will, was going down every weekend. We stayed with it. Nobody had it more than us. Nigga, I'm talking about stay with it. I mean, stay with it. And I'm talking about everything. Coke, dope, weed, crack, everything. Like, legit. Like, everybody, yo, it was nothing. When I was in that jail, bro, between Clinton and Wyoming, it was crazy how much drugs narcotics i had hands on or we had like it was a lot man i ain't gonna lie bro i was paying bills from clinton my man i was paying for my my wife's my ex-wife's college tuition from prison bro everything i was selling was 50s and hundreds 50s and hundreds 50s and hundreds 50s and hundreds me and will was killing them and will was more i had will more out there putting the footwork in because i was holding the whip and clinton i was first crowned and Clinton on my side. I had that. That was my castle. When then it was there and all of them was there, Bandit was there and all that, that got passed down to me. They had a whole nother vote. Bapo was first on the other side. I was first on this side. Facts. I hit a nigga in the yard the same week you got there. You remember that? Maybe not. The same day you got there, I hit a nigga that I didn't even want to hit. Because it was on some gang related shit. And I, I always I always hated putting working on my own peoples. And it was one of mine's. You know what I'm saying? And at this time I wasn't even first. I was third crown. You know what I mean? And I had to put I ain't have to, but I had to. So I hit the nigga in the yard. That was that was like the second time in my life I ever poked somebody. That was the only the second time. Hit him. Right on the flats, my nigga. Right on the flats. Right before the early go back. Caught him. Bop, 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 bop. Nigga went running. I went past the ratchet off to one of the bros. I never even said that story. That's crazy. Did I ever say this story before? It's crazy. See, I'm over here talking. I ain't even remember. I don't think I even talked on this story. Whoa, he was a bad boy king, man. I apologize. Yo, listen, real talk, I hated shit like that. But he had to go. My hand was forced because dudes in my castle was forcing dudes to drop bad boy, drop LKG. It was bloodline or nothing. You feel me? It wasn't not even black mob. Yo, if you was going to Clinton, it was, it was an internal war going on with the kings also. Bad boy kings and regular bloodline kings such as myself was banging on each other in certain jails. That shit is, I ain't like, I don't like shit like that. But it, it's a fact, it happened. So I had aired out one of the bros that same week you got there. Facts. I remember this, me and we was on lockdown, a matter of fact, if I'm correct. Facts. Now, that was the only incident that I had while I was in Clinton that was, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, Zip, was in, Zip used to be out there. He used to set it out, you know what I'm saying? He used to look out, you know what I mean? Set it out to the people, saying, selling little sticks in the yard or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? We stayed with the heroin, though. Heroin and the bud. And the coke. And the pills. Like, we stayed with it all. And, um, nigga, I wasn't buying nothing in the yard. We were setting it out. And then when I get it, I set it out. You understand what I'm saying? So don't get it misconstrued like I'm trying to say, like, niggas is starting dudes. It's not even a friendly extortion. It's a respect thing. When you first got to that jail, you got high off the muscle of me and my twins. Me, Will, Manny, we the ones that had that side of Clinton with the Kings. It was us. We stayed with the bag. It's impossible, nigga, you don't remember me or Will. Like, and if you do, dang, you must be smoking a lot of bud. But anyway, the mark happened. I just want to know if I'm capping. Am I lying? Because I also heard Lil Zip say that Blue Boy put a shank on his cell when he was in long-term keep locking Clinton, which I was there also, and he caught you out, put the ratchet on your cell, say, yo, 
If you want to, you can get that. We can go bang, bang, bang. Take care of that on the lockout. When you go out for your shower, we can go gun to gun. And you was like, nah. I don't even know if you... Did you go take a shower? <laughs> did you go take a shower? Bro, are you telling me you wasn't taking showers on long-term keep lock? I'm talking my little shit. Don't get a little mad. Don't get offensive and all that. Like, yo, this dweeb, this. Ah, it's the truth. You didn't want no smoke from Blue Boy. I get it. Who does? He ain't never called me out. He was calling all blood niggas out. I got called out gun for gun in that same jail with a red hunter nigga called Benji. And it wasn't no, nah, I don't want no smoke with me. Nigga, where you? Let's go. That's what it was with me. Let's go. On a hunting, nigga. Yeah, I was a reckless dude, though. I ain't gonna lie. Dudes is more reckless than me on YouTube, right? Niggas is more, ah, on YouTube. Niggas wasn't as reckless as me when I was in there, though. Because, like, yeah, Zip was official, though. I mean, he wasn't pussy. He was getting money. He was getting his little dollars. He wasn't popping, though. Like, I ain't, I, I mean, I don't remember him ever pop. I don't know no movies he made. You know what I'm saying? That's not nothing against him. I know that when he got the Clinton, though, he was holding him. I know that we strapped up Big Zip. The King strapped up Big Zip. The Kings gave Big Zip the bag to give Little Zip. You know what I'm saying? These are things that, little things out there that dudes don't be wanting to talk about. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? I definitely do. Like, but it's the truth. It's a super fact. You know what I'm saying? I wish the motherfucker would try to say, I'm capping. Let's get into that, nigga. Oh, yeah. So, did you or did you not refuse to go gun to gun with Blue Boy? That's all I want to know. I you know mean, Because that's 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 a big statement to say that somebody called you out knowing all call outs is mandatory and you like nah i'm good you were scared i respect that if you were scared i mean i was scared when niggas called me out before but i went i got it popping always all call outs is mandatory so i ask y'all this hit up the comment games is all call outs is mandatory so should zip you know what i mean feet be held to the flames like, did you really, like, you, I mean, I, I was there with you, right? And I know you was you was one of the loud niggas, but, and you was cool and you was funny. But I ain't gonna lie, I don't remember no movies. Now, your brother was the com almost like the complete opposite A little Zip. This is how you know I'm keeping it stack because Big Zip was wild, quiet, and humble. But who put that work in? Now, I'm assuming and that's because, no, I'm not assuming. I know he put the work in because Cito told me. Cito stamped Zip for me. You know what I mean? When Cito touched. And Cito was like, yo, that's my like, big Zip. And I think Cito knew Little Zip too. Little Zip. You know you know my son Cito too? Because look, this shit, gonna, this shit is gonna, it's not going to be no bullshit, twin. I promise you that. I'm just saying, man. You said you ain't go gun to gun with a nigga and he called you out. That's not how the bloods would say real right. And as the kings would say, that shit was not right over left, my nigga. That's not something that we do. Not if you really living back that life. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to shoot at you, but I am trying to fact check and, and, and I'm putting shit out there that I know this is a fucking super fact. You know what I'm saying? And I have more. You got to remember, nigga, you was in Clinton with me and my, that was my spot. I honestly feel like, now nah, it wasn't mine's, but yeah, we was running shit. We was all over that yard. I know I was. No, it was nobody in that yard. Nobody, including you. They got that bag and wasn't setting it out, bro. So, I mean, a lot of these YouTube niggas are probably like, oh, this nigga Zip was, yeah, you was doing your thing. But every, a lot of people was doing their things. And off the muscle, off the kings is the fucking reason why you even got scrapped up in the beginning. And why you even got high. And why your bro used to stay with the bag, your big Zip used to stay with it sometimes, was because of us. Straight like that. Let's get to that. I'll let you twin, man. Huh?